Here we have an Atwood machine, which is invented to measure the acceleration of gravity. It consists of two objects of different masses connected by a string that runs over a pulley. The heavier mass will accelerate the entire system when it falls downward, pulling the lighter mass upward. Let's draw a free body diagram of the system. Here are the two masses connected by the string. We stretch the system out horizontally to make it easier to analyze the forces. The masses have a tension T on each other. This force will act at the same magnitude on each object, only it will act in different directions. In part B of the problem, we will learn how to solve for this tension. The two external forces that are causing the system to accelerate are due to the weights of the different objects. W2 pulls the system in the positive direction, and W1 pulls it in the negative direction. We know that mass 2 is larger than mass 1, so the system must accelerate to the right, which we are calling the positive direction. First we want to find the acceleration of the system. We will use our net force formula. Expand the equations to include our variables. It is important that we subtract m1g from m2g and that we sum the masses, because the mass of the system includes all of the individual masses. We input our values, simplify terms, and divide both sides by the total mass. And we find the acceleration of the system. Next we want to find the tension in the string. We know the entire system accelerates at 1.81 meters per second squared, so each individual part of the system is accelerating at this rate. To find the tension, we want to isolate one of the masses and treat it as its own system. By eliminating mass 1 and focusing on mass 2, we'll be able to treat the tension force T as an outside force that counters the weight of the object. We will use the net force formula, and we'll input our variables. Notice that M2G is pulling the object in the positive direction and the tension force is resisting this motion. We rearrange the equation to isolate the force T. Input our values and find the tension in the string to equal 6.4 newtons. You could also have isolated mass 1 and solved for T. If you would have done it this way, you would still get 6.4 newtons for the magnitude of the tension.